Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to Plastic Addict, episode number 16, I believe. And today, we are going to be dyeing these two discs. This, these two discs. So, stick around. All right, so I'm gonna be trying to dye this Firebird here and this TL3. Um, these are like the first white discs that I could find. I know you don't have to dye white discs, but I feel like it'll turn out better. So we're gonna try and dye discs, the white discs. Um, and uh, ProKim was kind enough to send out some of their dye here. So let's see what colors we got. We got dandelion, so like a yellow, and we got fern, green, green fern. We've got bright blue, that'll be definitely one we do. And we've got cherry, nice red action, onyx, like a black, grayish, so hopefully that. That'll turn out well. And then we got pansy, which I believe is like a pink or purple. I don't, you, you can't really tell what color it's going to be when it's all concentrated in the dye like that, uh, in the, in the powder form that is. Um, but yeah, we're going to be trying these out. And, um, if you want to get the same dye that I have, I got the assorted disc golf colors, disc golf dye from pro Chem here. And I'll leave a link to it in the description if you want to pick up the same kind of kit for yourself. And what is very nice is they include this kind of instruction sheet right here. They include this sheet and it gives you uh, basically instructions on how to die. Um, so today we are going to be doing a glue bed. And what that is is basically taking glue and putting it on the bottom and then we'll put our die our disc disc die on the top and basically the glue just makes it um, hold whatever kind of shape and form that the uh, die is so it doesn't move around in the dyeing process the glue just kind of helps secure that to the disc um, and so pro Kim gives you these directions on the um, ratio so for glue beds we've got a half a teaspoon of dye uh, one teaspoon of hot water mix it and then two ounces of acetone so i got some goodies here first off i went to michael's and i got these uh, bottles to hopefully just put the dye in they're plastic though um, hopefully the acetone doesn't eat through the plastic, uh, but we'll see about that. Um, and then I got some eyedropper things cause I was looking for a built in dropper on the bottles here, but I couldn't find any. We got eight eyedroppers and then I found these things too. They're like really small bottles. And then they look like they have that eyedropper kind of tip. So I don't know, those might work if uh, the eyedroppers don't work. Um, that was from Michael's. And then I went to Walmart, got some extra other goodies. So I got this uh, measuring spoon so we can measure out the dye because I want this to be exact. We're not messing around here. This is, this is the real world. We're, we're gonna do some sick dyes today and so had to go with the measuring spoons walmart special 199 next up we got the acetone and this we will mix with the powder dye uh i don't really know what it does but i know we need it so that's a good thing we got acetone and then let's see here uh we also got a frisbee well ultimate frisbee foundation disc.com brody smith um, we're going to put the disc, uh, the glue is actually going to go in the bottom of this and then our die is going to be on here. We're then going to put the disc upside down and it'll sit like that in the glue bed for 48 hours. And so that's kind of all the things we got. We do have the glue as well, right here. 
boom. Michael's glue. I didn't go with Elmer's because uh, this was cheaper. So, falling on a budget, baby. Uh, clear glue. Um, you can use white glue, I heard. But I think I've heard that uh, clear glue is actually better. So, we're going with clear glue today. We're going to be dying this Firebird, this TL3. Just got a fresh stock of enema in a little bit of fresh stock of innova in and so we're gonna be dying these two and you know maybe i'll give these away or something who knows stick around to the end that's what we got um let's go ahead and start mixing up our powder dyes so i think i'm gonna start out with blue and definitely a onyx and um Let's do the cherry as well. Let's do this. And uh, we'll do the first, we'll mix up these first three and then we'll, um, we'll do the other colors on the second disc. So let's first do the Firebird. Um, so, like I said earlier, half a teaspoon of dye and one teaspoon of hot water. So, break out this bad boy away. Uh, okay, well, we gotta find the teaspoon. Okay, this is, that's a lot of dye. Um, oh, half a, nope, half a teaspoon, not a whole teaspoon. Uh, glue beds, half a teaspoon. How many ounces? Oh, these are two fluid ounces each. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to cut this in half. Two, so one ounce of uh no, no no we'll just have to fill this like all the way up to the top with acetone not the end of the world okay let's do this half a teaspoon of dye we got half a teaspoon really don't want to make a mess here hopefully the dye doesn't eat through this plastic balls either it doesn't eat through the plastic when you like um when you rub the stamp off the disc so Hopefully it doesn't do that with our, uh, our bottles, because that wouldn't be good. All right, so let's do the blue first. I'm just gonna open the package up. My hands are gonna get all dyed up. I can already, I can already sense it. All right. Okay, I'm gonna try not to get dye on my hands or myself. Okay, half a teaspoon of dye. All right. Make sure to make sure to always level it off. That's pretty good. That's half a teaspoon. All right, here's here's the tricky part. Oh boy. No, there's no way. Here, let's put it into the cap. Aha. Aha. Yeah. No, what am I doing? I still have to get it into the into here now. Oh, that's easier though. It's much easier. I should have gotten a bigger mouth for the bottles or something. Okay, no, we're good. We're chilling. Oh yeah, perfect. A little tap, tap, tap. Oh, perfect. All right, uh, I'm gonna go get some water, hot water. I'll be right back. Do, 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 do. All right, so I filled up one of our little bottles with the water and uh, how much water? One teaspoon one teaspoon of water okay that's tsp okay not a tablespoon teaspoon all right so we're just gonna this is like the hottest water i can find so we're just gonna do 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 okay And somehow we gotta get this in here. All right, I'm just gonna do it. Not over the uh, tablecloth thing. Should have gotten a funnel. Oh no, we're doing, we're, oh, that is perfect pour. That is a perfect pour. Okay, great. Now we'll put this cap on. Hopefully this doesn't leak. I'm just gonna give it a little shake. A little shake, shake, shake. Shake it up, shake it up. Oh yeah, it's blue. Okay, we shaking it. We mixed. We've mixed well. 
Now we need two ounces of acetone. And if I am correct, if I remember correctly, yeah, the bottle is two fluid ounces. So we just gotta fill the bottle up. How do you, you just, that, is, that hurts. Ow. Uh, do I have anything here? I can use this thing. Oh, okay. That was like pressurized or something. Sheesh. All right. Now, we're just gonna fill this guy up. I'm really, I'm trying not to, uh, okay, we're chilling. We're gonna fill this all the way up. Oh, 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 the pour is on point. I'm just gonna leave that open. It's probably not a good idea, but it's whatever. Oh, I like this color. Hopefully it doesn't. I swear, if this thing leaks, we're gonna be in trouble. Okay, so we're just gonna mix. We're gonna mix. Oh, oh, it's leaking. It's leaking. It's leaking. Yep, that's not good. Okay. Don't turn it upside down. So I've learned. Okay. Just gonna try and swirl it around and not turn it upside down. I should probably close the Ziploc. Yeah. Oh yeah, my hands are gonna be covered and die after this. Here, I'm gonna put, the, oh, we're leaking even more. All right, that's just gonna go in the Frisbee here. Okay, I'm gonna do these other colors and then we're gonna get back to you. Uh, you don't wanna watch me fail and struggle because yeah, it's, that's what it's gonna be. So, uh, we'll get back to you when these colors are all mixed up. All right, folks, one thing is you're gonna need some paper towels. Uh, my hands, yeah, they, they're they never gonna be the same. Definitely use paper towels, please. Please use paper towels. Okay, anyway, uh, we got everything mixed. So here they are. I'll show you guys them. First of all, we got this green fern. Then we got the, uh, what was this called? Ba -ba 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 -ba, where are the colors at? This was called pansy and it's like a pink. So pink pansy. And then we got red for the cherry and we got yellow. This guy's looking rough. I don't know what happened to him. We got blue and then we got black onyx. So um, now we are ready to pour our glue. We're gonna be using a, just an ultimate Frisbee here. We're gonna pour our glue and we want this uh we want the amount of glue to come up to and um cover the entire disc's uh surface area here and that's because when we push it down into the glue we don't want the bottom to hit the bottom of the frisbee so um very key to just fill it up fill it up more than you think you would need um, so, and if there's air bubbles in there, we can, um, try and get them out. Usually the air bubbles will kind of make their way to the outer edges though. So should not be an issue. Okay. That's probably, probably a little too much, but like I said, that would be safe and sorry because yeah, you don't want too little. That would not be good. Yeah, definitely probably a little too much. Definitely a little too much. <laughs> um, but that's okay, that's fine. Uh, all right, so we have our colors here. And so now this is the fun part. This is, we get to dye now. And so I think first I'm gonna start with the blue. I'm carefully going to take the cap off of this and place it back down. And this is where the eyedroppers come in. So open these guys up and get this guy out and let's get a little blue in here. So we just want to make little tiny drops. So 
So you see how it's kind of just starting to uh, starting to dissipate. It can just lay down a lot. There we go. I think I'm actually going to shake this up a little bit now that the tie is settled. I'm going to just shake it up a bit because it looks a little bright. So give it a little shake, 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 shake around. All right. Now unscrew it, and and we're just kind of kind of mess around and see what kind of uh, designs we can make. And of course, we'll add some other colors in here in a second. I can leave the bottle, the eyedropper, in the bottle, and it won't go down. So awesome! All right, now let's try some try some black here. Mix that guy up. Got a different eyedropper here, which is key. And let's just put some black in there. It's almost a uh, purple. Yeah. Got some contrast in there now. And there's no real uh, right or wrong to this part of the process at all. Put some black in the center of that. So I'm just going to kind of mess around here and add more colors as needed and we're just going to try and make this thing look cool. And then we can actually come back with like a straw or something and um, we can we can swirl it. So. I will be back once this is looking fresh. All right. Okay, so now I think I've got um, the color uh, filled in the bed pretty all right. So I'm gonna grab a straw and we can start moving this stuff around. All right, boom, I got a straw. We're gonna start kind of blowing this around and see if we can make some cooler designs. So. All right, so I've got the glue bed, bed blah, glue bed done. We're going to put this guy in here. We're gonna put it at an angle and then just kind of flatten it out as it goes down. And we're gonna leave this for roughly 48 hours. So, yeah, let's uh, yeah, let's put this in. Hopefully, this tape doesn't fall off. That would not be good. Okay, here we go. Gonna press it down, make sure we're getting the whole face of this. All right. And now, like I said, we're just gonna leave it for 48 hours and we'll come back, rinse this baby off, and we should be good to go. All righty, everyone. We have washed off the discs. We've washed the glue off them. And, you know, I just took a paper towel, dried them off here are the final results. First of all, the one that you guys, the bed that you guys, I don't wanna show it. The bed that you guys um, saw in the video we have here. This is the Firebird. Ready, drum roll please. Boom, there it is. Check that out, that is sheesh that is insane that is crazy that is awesome the colors are so vibrant which i really didn't think the colors would be that vibrant but they actually are that that uh pro kim dye that's the real deal right there let me tell you um a couple mistakes on my part was um first of all there's some air bubbling in the uh be below there's there's air bubbling in the bottom right there. And um, I just didn't even see it, honestly. But, you know, this was, this, we, we're trying this out. We're trying this out and this, is a, this was an awesome experience. And then um, there is a little bit of smearing right up there, right up at the top here by my finger. But it's not, it's not anything too bad. Um, so here's the other ones. 
Um, first up, we did a pink destroyer. Here's the, oh, I still have the tape on here. Get that out of here. Uh, here's the back and ready and boom. That's the front. I tried to go for like a little like black, black down here, black up there, pink in the middle. It's a pink disc. So I thought the pink would blend in well. And it does. That looks, oh, it looks so cool. Um, again, there's just a little bit of uh, bubbles in the center. This one didn't really get smeared though, which is, which is nice. There's a little bit right up there, but man, this turned out so good. Um, like I said, just a different style, different technique there. Um, and then we have the last one right here and it is a white, this is a TL3 and boom, craziness, craziness, craziness. This was by far probably the most challenging because the yellow wasn't very bright when I was putting it down, but the yellow actually turned out really good here. And then same thing again with the, there's a little bit of air um, pockets in there, caused it to do um, the dye not to stick uh, in those spots. But nonetheless, it looks crazy, it looks sick. This is a TL3. And one thing I wanna do for this video that I thought you guys would love is I'm gonna give these away. I'm gonna give two of these away. So go, there's not really an easy way to do a giveaway on YouTube. So go to my Twitter, FDG underscore Silas, and I'll, I'll leave a little um, box of like the username right here. Go there and retweet the post that I have pinned and um, that's all you gotta do. That's literally it. Make sure you're following me and retweet the post. Boom, that's it. You're automatically entered in. And I'll pick two people and they can have their choice of these three discs. And yeah, a uh, huge shout out to people like Pastry Dyes, people like Joe Throws, amazing disc dyers that uh, I have followed their uh, journey and um, all of their stuff on Instagram. Uh, shout out to them. Go, I'll plug their Instagram. Uh, I'll be in the show notes in the description below. They are really cool guys over there. They know what they're doing with dyes. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this process. It's been super fun. Um, just the, how creative you can get with these. You know, this is not the only process of dyeing there is. There's lotion beds and, and so many, so many other different forms and formats. Maybe we can dive in that uh, in, in another video. Um, but it's just been great learning this process and huge shout out to ProKim for sending out the dye that was used here to dye these discs. And yeah, I mean, this has just been an awesome process. I hope you guys have uh, learned a thing or two. And if you did and you, uh, you want to try this out yourself, feel free. I would love to see what you guys have created. Uh, tag me on uh, Twitter and Instagram, I'll leave my Instagram in the uh, description as well. But man, these turned out so great, so awesome. Giveaway on Twitter, link in the description, FDG underscore Silas. Yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this awesome video. It was This was one of the funnest videos that I have made just to see your creation come to life. It's absolutely incredible. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hey, if you did, leave a subscribe and leave a like as well. And in the comments below, let me know what you wanna see next. Um, there, like I said, there's a bunch of different forms of this dying so much, so awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.